The U.S. government says that it may increase the amount of security assistance that it offers to Ukraine in light of the two countries' continued problems with Russia. Moscow's decision to pull back some of its forces from the Ukraine border last month helped end a standoff that made alarm bells ring in Western capitals and set the stage for an expected summit between Presidents Biden and Putin. But... Speaking alongside Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kyiv on Thursday, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Russia remains poised to take what he called aggressive action on short notice. We're aware that Russia has withdrawn some forces from the border of Ukraine, but uh, we also see that uh, significant forces remain, uh, remain there, significant equipment remains there. We're monitoring the situation very, very closely. President Zelensky said he's been impressed by the Biden administration's awareness of the situation and asked for NATO to strengthen its presence in the region. Blinken didn't specify what form an increase in aid could take, but last week Ukraine's foreign minister said that it was asking for air defense systems and technology that can counter snipers. The military standoff last month prompted Zelensky's government to lobby the United States and Europe to speed up Ukraine's possible admittance into the NATO alliance. Ukraine says 14,000 people have died over seven years of fighting with separatists who are backed by Russia.